Hey guys, what's up? <coughs> Sorry about that, I had something stuck in my throat. We are once again on the advanced server and tested out the new changes that developers made on Winter Crown, known on the original server as Winter Truncheon. Currently on the original server, Frozen, Winter Truncheon's active effect allows it to turn the user unforgettable. <coughs> I mean untargetable and immune to damage for 2 seconds in exchange for being unable to move or cast skills and attack. One of the exceptions is Alice since her ultimate remains active as long as you activated her ultimate before activating Frozen's effect. On the advanced server, this effect was greatly buffed with one simple mechanic change. All skills can now be casted by the user who activated Frozen. Yes, you heard that right. All skills, including non-ultimate skills, can be used as long as they are casted before Frozen came into effect. This is a massive buff to this item which can indirectly buff a number of heroes. With that said, we tested this item on all of the heroes, though I wouldn't show all of them since it would be a waste of time showing interactions that are not, you know, very interesting. Just to be clear, I am not saying the heroes shown in this video are recommended to have Winter Crown. The main purpose of this is to simply show you how it can impact them, especially since there are still certain limitations to this item. Without further ado, let's go! After activating Hilda's ultimate, Winter Crown can be activated to allow her to remain suspended in mid-air without delaying the damage inflicted by her ultimate. This might be useful to counter lineups that have a lot of stun control effects. In case you're not aware of it, Hilda's ultimate can be cancelled if she gets stunned while in mid-air. Would I buy Winter Crown for her? Maybe, maybe not, but still, it might be an interesting item to have in certain situations. Winter Crown might be a good choice for x borg to prevent enemies from prematurely destroying his frog armor while casting his ultimate. Alpha behaves the same way as Hilda where he can remain suspended in mid-air after using his ultimate without delaying the damage inflicted by it. As for heroes like Granger who have multi-stage skills or skills that can be casted multiple times, Winter Crown doesn't work too well since you won't be able to activate the next stages or phases of their skills while Frozen is in effect. With Leslie, on the other hand, you can continue attacking using her ultimate while in Frozen status. I guess because technically you are not recasting her skill? Interesting interaction. Hmm. This might be useful on Badong to avoid getting bursted by enemies while casting his ultimate. Whether or not getting this item for him is worth it is totally up to you. As for Leomord, it can be a good countermeasure against heroes that use knockback effects, which can cause Leomord to miss riding Barbeel. If Leomord gets countered by heroes like Valir, Cho, or Akai, activating Winter Crown while waiting for Barbeel might be a good idea. Esmeralda can also remain suspended in mid-air after activating her ultimate with Winter Crown's help. As for Hayabusa, it can't interact very well with his skills since all of his skills have quick animation. As for his ultimate, Winter Crown's effect activates but does not freeze Hayabusa at all. It makes sense though, I mean, Hayabusa is already untargetable while in his ultimate state. Using Winter Crown's effect during that time would be foolish. So yeah, nothing to see here. I just included it since I'm sure someone would ask, What if I use it after casting Hayabusa's ultimate? Well, I guess it might be useful during clutch moments. Same with Argus, I don't see why you would use this item on him. Maybe an extension after his ultimate's effect expires but using it during his ultimate? I don't think so. It just looks too wasteful. I also included this in case someone asks. Interestingly, his wings still move. Must be that Celestial Riz Argus has going on. With Cho, there are a number of possibilities since he is a hero that thrives in outplaying opponents. You can use Winter Crown to bait enemy control effects after engaging with the enemies or maybe use it during his ultimate second phase. And just like we discussed earlier, succeeding stages or phases of skills can't be activated while in frozen status, so be careful when using it. Franco's ultimate will continue inflicting damage and keep the spray suppressed while in frozen state. This might be useful against heroes that have knockback effects in order to prevent them from canceling Franco's ultimate. During team fights, Saber will have more opportunities to use his ultimate even in the presence of multiple enemies since he can now activate Winter Crown while in mid-air. 
Personally, I think this is pretty useful in certain situations when playing a Saber. It can give Saber more opportunities to use his ultimate without worries of dying while suspended in mid-air. In my opinion, this is a very useful item for Gord. One of Gord's weaknesses is the fact that he has to remain in one position while casting his ultimate, which can encourage some heroes to dash or blink in towards him and have him taken down. Thanks to Prozen's new effect, Gord can now become untargetable while casting his ultimate. Chang'e is another hero that can benefit in almost the same way. I think this benefits Claude greatly since it would allow him to use his ultimate around multiple opponents without worries of getting bursted down. As long as Claude has a good setter teammate, activating Frozen while his ultimate is active might be a good idea. Teresa can use it to prevent enemies from stunning him when using his ultimate. It also looks pretty cool, no pun intended. Brody's ability to outplay opponents can be greatly improved by this item. As for Matilda, it doesn't work on her ultimate at all. Winter Crown cannot be casted while she is flying around. Man, it would be cool seeing a frozen ice block flying towards her opponents, right? Missed opportunity right there. Johnson can turn into an ice mobile. I don't think that's useful though, but it's pretty cool. Also, there's a downside to this. Just like other heroes using Winter Crown, you can change directions while Frozen is active, which means Johnson can only drive in a straight path while Winter Crown is active. It's also not very useful in Farsa since her ultimate is a multi-staged or multi-casted skill. Even when using her bird form, she's unable to move. For Akai, on the other hand, it might be useful for some situations, such as avoiding advanced control effects while his ultimate is in effect. Odette is one of the heroes who will greatly benefit from this item because of, well, obvious reasons. Gatot, as far as I know, is already immune to control effects while he's in mid-air. So it's not very useful on him, I guess. It does look pretty cool, though. Estus is another one of those heroes that can greatly benefit from this item, especially when Estus is countered by heroes such as Ian or heroes capable of isolating Estus. Casting Frozen while in his ultimate state will not stop Estus from healing his allies. Guinevere is already immune to control effects while using her ultimate. She can still be damaged though, so maybe this item can be a good choice against certain lineups or to allow her to survive clashes even after committing small mistakes and setting enemies up. Can be a good item to have when turret diving as well. With Atlas, I don't know, looks cool, I guess. It might be useful for Kufra in a number of situations, especially since his skills can be easily interrupted. Also, it looks cool. <laughs> Will I buy it for him though? Probably not, but uh, it's not useless nonetheless. So yeah, that concludes our Mobile Legends content for today. What do you think of this new effect? Did I miss any heroes or skills this item can be useful for? Leave your comments down below and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.